In 2005, there was a two-hour plane flying above Athens, Greece. It was just circling in the air. When the two jets approached it, the pilots of the jet saw the passengers unconscious, but they saw someone dying next to the pilots just a few minutes later. The plane crashed on a mountain. Our question is why the passengers and crew of the plane fainted and what caused the crash. Before we start our story, if you are new to this channel, subscribe first and don't forget to like this video so that you are always updated on life amazing stories. On August 14, 2005, in Lenarca, Cyprus, the Helios Company's Boeing 737 arrived at Lamarca Airport. This plane was coming from London. The flight crew reported to the ground engineers the strange noise they heard at the services door. When opening it, they requested a full inspection of the door. Because it was only a few hours, the plane will fly again to Prague in the Czech Republic. The ground engineers went immediately to check the said problem, and they quickly fixed the door. Now they are already there so they also check the pressurization system of the plane. They check if there is a leak in the pressurization system. The pressurization system is responsible for pumping the air condition into the plane so that the cabin pressure is safe for passengers, especially when the plane is flying at high altitude. In order for others to understand better I will give an example. Have you ever experienced climbing a mountain, and then when you go up, you feel like you are deaf? It's because your altitude is rising, and the pressure is changing. Similarly, in the case of airplane, the plane is much higher than the mountains, so when the pressure changes, it is more dangerous for humans, because the oxygen saturation level also change. If the plane does not have a pressurization system, the person will surely die at high altitude. That is the help or function of the pressurization system. It will maintain the pressure inside the plane that is suitable for a safe level to people. The pressurization system is automatic for the time the plane will fly. It will automatically maintain the safe pressure level inside the plane. Now let's go back to the ground engineers. Before they check the pressurization system, they need to return it to the manual because it is always an automatic. They checked it up for a few minutes, and they didn't see even the slightest leak. When they are finished checking the plane they left at once but they forgot something, and it was to set back the automatic of the pressurization system a mistake of it. That will ruin Helios Flight 522. The atmosphere of the people was very happy, because it was summer in Cyprus at that time. Because summer in Cyprus is from June to September, this is what they are waiting for the most because they have a lot of time to travel with their family. Lenarca Airport is a tourist hotspot. Passengers happily boarded Helios Flight 522. One of those smiling to greet them was flight attendant Andreas Proud Ramu. The cabin crews are already preparing for their next flight, and this is to Prague, in the Czech Republic. Before they go to Prague they will first have a stop off at Athens Airport. The cockpit captain is Hans Merton. He is German. He is contract pilot of the Helios company. He took those hours because Helios lacked pilots. His co-pilot was Horace Charalambus. He had been working at Helios Airways for five years. Before they flew, the flight crews were required first to check the onboard's equipment. This is an important routine procedure, but they did not notice that the pressurization system was not set back to automatic. Helios was a charter airline. Their passengers at that time were 115 and had five flight attendants. Flight attendants, please take your seat. Just a few minutes later Helios Flight 522 took off. The weather was good at that time. The sky was clear. Nicosia Area Control. This is Helios 522. Request cruising at 340. Helios 522 you are cleared to climb 340. Have a good day. So 340. 340. When the plane was at 3,000 feet and going to cruising altitude, the alarm suddenly sounded. Here they were surprised because it only sounded to let them know that the plane was not ready to take off. So they wondered why did the alarm sound now they are on the air. Operations, this is flight 522 over. Flight 522, what can I do for you? We have a takeoff config warning on. While the first alarm went off they were even more worried, when the master caution alarm sounded, they were nervous, because they checked the system, and they didn't see any problem. They are restless in their seats and they wonder what caused the alarms to sound. Flight 522, what can I do for you? While the pilots talked to the ground engineers, to help them troubleshoot the two alarms, the passengers were unaware to the danger that awaits them until the emergency oxygen mask is suddenly triggered every one seat off and please remain seated. The flight attendants were shocked by the fall of the emergency masks, but they just calmly put on the masks on the passengers. The passengers were nervous because they did not know what was happening. The pilots in the cockpit were unaware that the passengers' oxygen mask had fallen. They still did not find out why the alarm sounded. They also did not know why their system overheats. Can you confirm that the pressurization system panel is set to auto? Where are my equipment cooling circuit breakers? Behind the captain's seat. Helios 522 can you see the circuit breakers? 
and then the ground engineers lost contact with the pilot, Helios 522, can you hear me? At that time the pilot and the co-pilot lost consciousness because they were exhausted of oxygen supply to their brains. This condition is called hypoxia, it is dangerous especially if your brain has no oxygen supply. For 4 minutes, you can have brain damage, and if you continue without oxygen supply you can die. So the plane will fly in the air at autopilot. It was just flying around at the top of Athens, Grace, for two hours, while the passengers in oxygen masks also lost consciousness because they ran out of oxygen. Andreas and another flight attendant, Horace, when they noticed that they had already exhausted the oxygen in the mask, they quickly took the portable oxygen. They checked and wake up the passengers, but they are not really responsive. They also checked their fellow flight crew, but they are also unconscious. So what the two did was, they walked to the cockpit. The case is the cockpit door has a security code. So they couldn't open it right away, because of panic and confusion. So they hit the wrong button. Meanwhile, when the Greek air traffic control noticed that the plane had been circling for two hours, they immediately flew to jet fighters, because they were worried that there may have been hijacking. As the two jet fighters approached the plane, the two flight attendants opened the cockpit, where the two unconscious pilots appeared before them, and Reyes quickly sat down in the pilot's seat. Andreas also has flight experience, so he also knows how to fly a plane. A jet fighter is already on the side of the plane. He is looking out the window of the plane here. He is surprised because the passengers are unconscious and the oxygen mask is still attached. Then he also peeked into the cockpit. Here he saw that there was a man controlling the pilot's seat. The man he saw was Andreas. He also saw that there was an unconscious man sitting in the co-pilot's seat. The problem was that the plane had been flying for some time so, at any time it could run out of fuel. Meanwhile Andreas disengaged the autopilot and took control of the flight. He also noticed the jet on the side of the plane, but his attention was more focused on control. Just minutes later, the engine on the right exploded because it ran out of fuel here. He was more nervous. Later the second engine on the left exploded. It was here that he lost control of the plane. And just seconds later, the plane crashed into a mountain. And today Helios 522 is down. Repeat Helios 522 is down on grammatical hills over. Fire and rescue workers rush to the crash site, but no survivor even one. This is the worst air crash in the history of Greece. The family of the passengers immediately went to the Helios company to find out what really happened. There was a long investigation. I can't single out one because it's so long. Here they found out based on the black box flight recorder and made simulations. The cause of the accident was the pressurization system. They found negligence committed by the ground engineers filed a layer upon layer case. The employees involved in negligence which caused havoc. The families who died were really saddened by what happened since then. The Boeing company has paid more attention to the pressurization system of the planes in two